Hi, my name is Rasneek Singh and I'm an author of the review paper titled Erythrodermic Psoriasis, Pathophysiology and Current Treatment Perspectives. Erythrodermic psoriasis is a rare and severe variant of psoriasis with an estimated prevalence of 1 to 2.25% among psoriatic patients. The condition presents with widespread inflammation of the skin, appearing as redness covering 75% or more of the skin, as well as varying degrees of skin peeling, swelling, scaling, itching, nail changes, and hair loss. Patients can also have systemic symptoms of fatigue, fevers, chills, sweats, dehydration, swollen lymph nodes, joint and muscle aches, and rarely even heart failure. Erythrodermic psoriasis may be triggered by systemic illness, environmental insult, or certain drug exposures. The exact disease pathophysiology is not well understood. However, several studies suggest that the condition is associated with a predominantly Th2 immune phenotype with contribution from the Th17 pathway. The management of erythrodermic psoriasis requires a comprehensive assessment of the patient's presentation and often requires multidisciplinary supportive measures in a hospital setting. In terms of Therapy, systemic agents such as cyclosporine and infliximab have traditionally been used to treat acute cases, whereas subacute cases have been treated with vitamin A derivatives and methotrexate. Topical agents such as corticosteroids can play an important adjunctive role. More recently, advances in a class of drugs known as the biologics has allowed for additional therapeutic options to be used in erythrodermic psoriasis. Some of these effective biologics include ustekinumab, an interleukin-12 and 23 inhibitor, ixekizumab, an interleukin-17 inhibitor, and TNF-alpha inhibitors such as etanercept and adalimumab. Additional controlled trials with long-term follow-up are needed to better evaluate safety and efficacy of the biologics, and translational studies are needed to better understand disease pathophysiology. This review article discusses our current understanding of the clinical features, pathogenesis, and treatment of erythrodermic psoriasis. Thank you.